Something every organization struggles with today is sprawl and sprawl management. You know, we've we've taken a lot of time to write an ebook about it, even, um, and uh, we've worked with hundreds of customers on governance and planning, and you know, site provisioning and teams provisioning and templating and so on and so forth. And one of the most exciting announcements at uh, Ignite is that shared channels are coming uh, very soon. To Lead is a remote first company based out of Canada. What makes a world class Microsoft 365 internet and digital workplace? And those shared channels are a big deal because uh, for anyone who's ever had to work across organizations, like if you work across tenants, if you work you know, from one organization to another, um, it's really difficult to do that with teams today. And uh, having a seamless kind of shared channel where it's you know shared ownership with external parties is a really exciting idea as well, because it means that you know um, I can create a meeting you know, with my peers at one of our, our partner companies, let's say, or one of our customers, and we can kind of jointly own and, and uh, join that meeting and work in a collaborative nature with teams um, in this way. You can you can share teams, but now we have the ability to take a, a particular channel within a team and share that. And so um, what that unfortunately adds is more uh, things to consider from a sprawl management perspective, because in the same way that a private channel added a lot of extra considerations for sprawl management, a shared channel adds its own. You know, the way it creates a SharePoint uh, site collection on the back end and the way you need to reconcile that and manage that today is is quite important. Um, you know, what is your organizational guidance around shared channels, right? Do we want to encourage them and have a, like a huge distribution of them? Or do we have concerns about, um, you know, sprawl around channels, right? We, we have six channels called, um, you know, operations and you're not sure which channels which, you know, you know, this one's under sales, so you're assuming it's sales operations, et cetera. So it can create a lot of confusion around uh, navigation. It can create confusion around uh, a number of other things. So, um, you know, and who's the owners of the channel? And, you know, do you do secondary owners? Because shared channels can arguably be as, as important, if not, you know, um, the most important part often of successful teams. So shared channels brings new governance questions to, to the table, and it brings new considerations for organizations. Um, so the first starting point, like anything else, is to tackle sprawl head on. And uh, sprawl is not a bad thing, but unmanaged sprawl is. So we want to manage it. You know, having ch uh, shared channels, I, I don't think is a bad thing. I hope most organizations embrace them. But managed shared channels is a much better approach than unmanaged shared channels. And so, you know, I hope for you as an organization, if you're hearing this or, you know, you, if you're yourself, you know, parsing through the announcements from Ignite, you know, shared channels is certainly one to watch out for and its implications uh, as it relates to governance. <laughs>